Hey everyone, Aaron here from Ultra RC Hobbies. So we're here for another unboxing. We've got the brand new, much controversial Mud Boss from Traxxas. So we're not gonna get into any of the controversy because it really doesn't apply to us here uh, in our local area. So we're just gonna chat about the cool new features that Traxxas put into this brand new truck and brand new late model, dirt late model that we got going on here. So this is an IMCA mod. Uh, if you're into dirt racing, pretty neat car and really neat to see what Traxxas has done to it. So we have a first delivery one. This is a blue one. So these are all the colors. We're not really sure how this is blue when that has blue, that has blue, that has blue, and that has blue in it. Um, but this is the blue one. That's the orange one. That's the red one. That's obviously the pink one. And that is the green one. So let's open this up and talk about all the cool new features because the box is cool, but it's not as cool as the features. So let's just get into it. So this will be a two-wheel drive model. <clears throat> this will require a battery and a charger to complete. Um, since this model has the BL2S in it, you are only able to put either a 7.2 or 8.4 volt NIM or a 7.4 volt 2S LiPo. Obviously, you're going to need a charger to complete that as well. Ba -bum -ba -da -bum. The brand new mud box. So this will be a clipless body mount design, brand new wheeled and tire package and a lot of cool new features when it comes to some of the parts and pieces included. So let's grab the rear clips and the front clips and take a peek at this body first. So this is a really, really sweet body. You have a molded scale driver in there. You're getting a nice wing out the back, which is a nice hard plastic wing. On the bottom side, you're still getting your cage work for your latches. So your two latches up front and two latches in the back. Uh, this is a very narrow latch system up front, so it is going to be a little bit different than some of the other models. Um, the box does depict some decals on it for numbering. This one obviously doesn't have anything on it, so you can put whatever you want on it. All of these inner panels here will be for the clipless body mount design, so it, it's going to clip into the body. There's one under here under this Traxxas decal as well, and then you're going to get a whole bunch of screws that lock all the cage work together and all of the other stuff because it does come with an internal cage which is pretty darn neat. This one is going to have a lot of gun metal in it like a lot of the new Traxxas models as well. So the body honestly looks really really good and the scaling of it looks really really good. I really like that. So let's get this baby out of the box and chat about some of the features it has going on in it. So we're going to rip this apart a little bit just to show some of the cool new features. And we'll be doing this a little bit backwards. Usually we talk about the electronics and all that fun stuff before, but we'll talk about that after because I'm pretty excited about some of the cool new features Traxxas has put on this truck. So first things first, obviously two wheel drive slash LCG chassis 2075 steering servo. You're gonna get the BL2S motor and speed control. You're gonna get a standard TQ radio. This will not have TSM out of the box. Brand spanking new Hoosier wheels and tires. Really, really nice. One feature though that you'll see right off the bat, obviously because it's blue, is going to be the shocks. The shocks will match body color of the shock to body color of whatever color you buy. So say you buy the pink one, you're getting pink shocks. So pretty basic, pretty straightforward. New front bumper and bumper mount that obviously is going to protect the nose of the body and also give you the correct look of an IMCA mod. But getting into the main big differences of a, like say a drag slash in this is now these brand spanking new components out at the wheel. So these now have the brand spanking new two wheel drive extra heavy duty kit, which is big, really, really big. So if you've had a two wheel drive truck, whether it be a slash a rustler, a bandit, a stampede, whatever that might be, um, you know, caster blocks, steering knuckles, rear hub carriers have not been changed unless you buy RPM parts for a hot minute. Like, and we're talking like 1996 hot minute when the first stampede was released. So this is pretty neat. So now you get this new extra heavy duty steering block and a new extra heavy duty caster block. And you can tell there's way more material in that caster block and a lot more stability um, with the extra braces in the steering knuckle as well. So these are gonna be the new cold weather plastics. So the extra heavy duty stuff already. So a little bit more nylon in it. And I mean, just looking at that, looking at this caster block from the old design, looking at how much more material they have in it, everything else they got going on. I mean, it's going to be a huge increase 
You're also getting a new cold weather plastic front arm. And out back, you're getting the same thing. So you're getting the extra heavy duty drive shafts. They're not max size on these ones like you would get on a four wheel drive. Um, some people are a little bit on the fence on that. But the one thing that is nice is they are the Rustler four wheel drive ones. So they are that nice gray material, way beefier than stock. And then the new arm that doesn't interfere with the yoke on the bottom side or for that rear shock mount. But look at how much extra material that has. Just like the four wheel drive, we're getting one pivot on the outside of the arm. On the four wheel drive, you actually got two. Um, you're getting the threaded hinge pins inner uh, for those on the outer side, sorry. And the inside on the arm, front's still the same. You're still dealing with the, the dreaded Eclipse, but the king pin on the front end is also threaded. So very, very cool. This car also comes with something else drivetrain wise that's a big update. So the 272R transmission. Now with the 272R, you know, you no longer have the issue of the planetary gears on the bottom stripping or anything like that because it is going to be a four gear oil filled differential versus a planetary differential. Like the old school design, you're gonna get a brand new input shaft and input gear, which is much stronger because you no longer use that roll pin. You're using a pretty much a triangle or a square style um, input shaft. So way, way tougher than that as well. And then you also get a nice metal plate that does dissipate some of the heat off the motor. It's not no longer a just molded transmission case. So way nicer that way. Another thing that Traxxas did on this car to make it scale is you're getting licensed Hoosier tires. So I think these are like the G60, if you remember like Proline and those people releasing these tires. Very, very soft insert though, like very, very soft. Still a short course design with the 2.2 outer bead and the three inch inner bead. Um, but it feels like a very soft open cell kind of foam and a pretty sticky style tire. So there's been a lot of setups already released um, to try and get the car turning a little bit more. If you watched any of the Traxxas videos, they are definitely a little pushy, um, but I mean, I think that's to be expected with a stock RTR car. All the electronics on this car are going to be waterproof, so you don't have to worry about running in the water or, the, or anything like that right out of the box, which is super, super nice. So that's the car itself. Let's put this body on and then we'll talk about the electronics. I know this is kind of the boring part for some people. So that's why we did the car first because I was pretty jazzed up about the car. And the clipless body on this is a little bit different because it would recommend just to kind of push down on the top and the bottom of the shock tower in this one and push down inside the body because there's not as much structure to try to push down on as some of the other clipless cars. So in here, you're going to get a massive decal sheet and you're gonna get a couple of these so you can outfit your car with uh, both left and right decals. Foam block if you wanna run a shorty battery pack or a long battery pack. And then you're gonna get your standard tools, 1.5, 2, 2.5, Allen key. And everyone asks me, Aaron, what the heck is this plastic? T-wrench for, that is your antenna tube threaded uh, nut. So that is going to be able to take off the aluminum nut that holds your antenna tube on. So I get lots of questions about that. What the heck is this for? How do I do it? Or how do I get that off without hurting it? So without taking a pair of needle nose pliers or something like that to it. So that's what that plastic tool is gonna be for. You just gotta take this little rubber cap off the antenna tube. Quick start guide, as we always get. And then inside here is going to be the white paper manual for all the exploded views. Next thing up is the last thing. And this is going to be pretty much what we're just doing with everything else. So this is a TQ transmitter, not a TQI, like I said before. So this one does not have TSM, nor does it have the ability to put the Bluetooth module in the back. Basic two channel, 2.4 gig radio, and it is going to require four double A's to complete it. One other thing that Traxxas did release with this car, it doesn't necessarily have to go directly with this car by any means, is the brand new 5200 MAH 35C 2S LiPo hard case um, that a lot of people are possibly going to spec into this car for a spec class. Um, if you want to run them on asphalt or dirt or anything like that, that's going to be a sweet option for a battery just to keep it easy for anybody getting into the hobby. But that is the brand spanking new Traxxas slash Mud Boss. 
super jazzed up about this. I know Chris and Jeremy are super jazzed up about this. I'm pretty jazzed up about it because, I mean, we're all into circle track racing of some capacity. So that's the unboxing. Hopefully we'll have some running videos of this bad boy really, really soon. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. We really do appreciate it. And hopefully you like the video and subscribe. And if you haven't yet, make sure to click that bell to make sure you get notifications and know you post a new video. And if you have any questions about the brand new Mud Slash or Mud Boss, throw them down in the comments below and let us know what color would you go with out of the five. Not gonna lie, pink is probably the color I'm going with just because that's all my race colors. But let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.